Hello everyone and welcome to Coding Simplify. Today in this video we will discuss about type modifiers in C++. We will cover what are type modifiers, how to find the range of data types and discuss each type modifiers in brief. So let's see what are type modifiers. So as the name is type modifiers, so here a modifier is a modifier is used to alter the meaning of base type so that it more precisely fits the needs of various situations. And in C++ we are only allowed to modify three data types and they are char, int and double. And there are four data types of modifiers that we have in C++ which are signed, unsigned, long and short. So before moving ahead, let's discuss how to find a range of a data type. So here I consider the data type integer. So for integer, we know that it takes 4 bytes in a memory and the smallest unit of memory is a bit and 1 byte equals to 8 bits. So for the memory block for an integer, it will consist of 32 bits. Why 32? Because 4 into 8 is 32. So the range if we consider only the positive integer. So for that the range will be from 0 to 2 raised to the power 32 minus 1. Let's discuss the process of finding the range of a data type to a simple example. Now let's consider if I said a number is formed using only 2 bits. Now the minimum number will form when both of the bits are 0. It means that the minimum number can be a 0. And for the maximum, if both bits are 1, then only a maximum number can form. So which is equals to 3 in case of 2 bits. And it forms by using 2 to the power 2 minus 1 that is 4 minus 1 equals to 3. In the same way, if I say that our number is formed using 3 bits. Now the minimum number is the 0. As when all the bits are 0, then it will form a minimum number. And in the case of maximum number, when all 3 bits are 1, then it will be a maximum number. Which is 7 in the case of 3 bits. Which is 2 raised to the power 3 minus 1 is equals to 7. So in this way we can simplify the formula of our maximum number which is 2 raised to the power n where n are the number of bits which are used to form a number and minus 1. So in the case of integer we are using 32 bits it means the range will be 0 to 2 raised to the power 32 minus 1. So in the previous slides, we have discussed the range for only the positive integers. So let's see what will be the range for the negative integers and positive integers both. So basically we are going to discuss the range for the signed integers. When a variable can store both negative and positive integers. So for that, in the memory block, the leftmost bit, that is the MSB bit, most significant bit, is used to represent the sign of the integer. If it is 0, then the number is positive and if it is 1, then the number is negative. Now in that case, the range will be minus 2 raised to the power 31, 2 to raised to the power 31 minus 1. Why 31? Because now we have the 1 bit that is used for the representation of the sign. So now we have only 31 bits that are remaining. So the range will be from minus 2 raised to the power 31 to 2 raised to the power 31 minus 1. Now here the positive side is right. Like it is 2 raised to the power 31 minus 1. And we have already discussed this formula in the previous slides. Now let's see why it is minus 2 raised to power 31. Why it is not like minus 2 raised to power 31 plus 1. So for that we have plus 0 and minus 0 representation. As you can see in the memory blocks the, when the leftmost bit is 0 and the uh, in the plus 0 case and in the minus 0 case it is 1. So for to as uh, it is not possible that we can have minus 0 and plus 0. So we only consider it's plus 0 and for that we have one more extra number in negative side so that's why the range is minus 2 raised to the power 31 is minimum range previously we have discussed that we can only use modifiers with three data types that are int double and char now let's discuss how we can use modifiers for each of them in brief so for consider the case of int now see int if we add a keyword short before that then it makes a variable of a small size that is of 2 bytes. Now we can store only a small values in those variables. As you can see the range will vary from minus 32768 to 32767. Now if we'll add unsigned and short before int then it makes the, uh, the it makes the short int that can store only a positive integers. 
and in the case of unsigned it it is also four bytes but we can store only a positive integers in those variables and for the case of int we already know that it is four bytes but it is point to be noted that uh, by default if they are signed integers that is we can store both negative and positive integers both and for the case of long it it is again four bytes and for unsigned long it now it is also four bytes but we can store only a positive integers and for long long int it means that the range will becomes very big because the size will increase by 8 so that's why we can store a very big variables in such uh, data types and last we have unsigned long long int it means that the variables are long long and they are only they can store only positive integers let's discuss how we can use modifiers for char so basically we can only use two modifiers for char one is signed and another one is unsigned and char takes only one bytes of number it means 8 bits so for unsigned char the range will be from 0 to 255 why it is 255 because 2 to the power 8 minus 1 that is 256 minus 1 equals to 255 and for the signed char the range will be from minus 128 to 127 Now let's suppose if I declare variable char x equals to single quotes a, so it doesn't mean that in for the memory block representation of x, x is actually storing a. No, it is not storing character a. It is actually storing the sky value for the a character. So in this sky table, you can see that every character have a unique sky value. So for a, it is ninety seven. So In actual, we are storing this 97 binary representation in the memory. Let's see how we can modify double. So for double, we can only use a long modifier. So if we will add long before double, so it makes the size to 12 bytes instead of 8 bytes. So basically, this will increase the range for the double. So this is all about the type modifiers in C++. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, then please press the like button and follow Coding Simplified for more such contents. Thank you. Bye bye.